Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Ann Harder. Lindsay Lipman is on special assignment. Blue algae, it's attracting a lot of attention on the local and national level, but what exactly do you need to know to protect yourself and your loved ones? Our Erin Heft is out at Texas A&M where she's met with a local expert on what you need to watch for. Erin? Well, it's not as complicated as many would like to think. We spoke to Dr. Todd Singh from Texas A&M University who explained that cytobacteria can be found in all water. He also explained with a little common sense and what to look for, we can all protect our health. In simple terms, Dr. Sink explained, if you wouldn't drink the water, don't let your animals drink it either. Blue-green algae, or more accurately called cytobacteria, is found in all water, explained Dr. Sink, saying if it were him, he'd look for some common signs of the bacteria, but he'd take a moment not to panic. I guarantee that everyone that sends me a water sample wanting to see, to see if there's cyanobacteria in it, we will find at least one type or species of cyanobacteria in it. It all really comes down to how many cells are present. Is it undergoing a bloom? And if so, what type of toxin is it producing, if it's producing a toxin at all? He went on to explain that cytobacteria has been present for hundreds of years, and nothing has changed. He also said that there have been very few human deaths on record due to the toxins linked to cytobacteria, and none in the United States. Now, many have requested water sample tests from Texas A&M University for cytobacteria, but Sink simply said all water tested will have a trace of the bacteria because it can be found in all ponds. In College Station, Aaron Heft, Central Texas News Now. Thank you, Aaron. Now coming up at six, hear more details from Dr. Sink and what tips he has for the Central Texas community.